Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this video from. It's me again, Peter. Thank you so much for coming back to see my video. I really appreciate you. If you are new, consider subscribing and turn on the notification button so that you can actually get a message, a notification message once I upload a video regarding exchange or any other technology video. With that being said, let's actually go into the topic for today. We are going to create a new mailbox in our Exchange server, 2019 server, uh, from scratch. I believe that you're actually following me with the other video series and you already have your server up and running. So let's go ahead. It's actually pretty simple to create a mailbox. Uh, once you have access to your admin center, you just click on the recipient click on the mailbox and you come here and you choose user mailbox. Uh, you might be wondering, what is a linked mailbox? A linked mailbox is actually um, a mailbox that is used with an external user. Let me show you. It said it's associated with an external account. If you want to learn more, you can actually click on it. The reason why we are not able to do it from here is because I don't have any forest trust to another domain. So I can, that is actually having access to my resources. Maybe I want to create that in the future, I still don't know. But what you're actually going to do is to create a user mailbox. So, alias. Alias is actually an alternate mailbox name that you wanted to give to your user. For example, let's say David Smith and People actually know him as J Smith, I know D Smith, David Smith. So you might want to choose an alias that say D Smith. So meaning that if anyone should say, oh, <laughs> how am I spelling it? If everyone, anyone should send an email to D Smith at your domain.com, he is actually going to receive that email. But that is not David Smith log on email. There are two different things right here that I want to put our attention on because when you get here, it's going to ask you another logon name. So logon name is actually, this one is actually associated to your mailbox. Why this is not actually, I mean, partially associated to your mailbox, but you can actually change it. So if you, if you think that, okay, maybe people actually know him as the, the Smith, <laughs> let me just say it that way, then you just change it and whenever you receive an email with Desmit at your local domain.com, then it, that email is going to come to him. So you can always change it. So existing user and new user. New user, you can actually click here and you can fill up all the information for David. The same thing with the user logon, password, and anything that is actually needed here. You can go to more option. I'm going to give you a no mark to actually create this one by yourself. It's not that hard. Assisting user is like, for example, let's say you have a user right here on your Active Directory. They don't have, I mean, creating a user here does not mean that they're going to have a mailbox. But if you create a user here, definitely it's going to have a mailbox. So if I create, for example, let me just quickly create one really quick. All right, now that I actually create Alan right here, if I go to my mailbox, so if I actually refresh, I don't see Alan right here because Alan doesn't have a mailbox. So that's why when you create a user mailbox, if you have already an existing user, and I'm going to do A Smith, and I'm going to browse. Now, if I refresh here, yeah, Alan is actually showing up here because it's an existing user in the Active Directory domain. That is why uh, Exchange actually depends a lot in user management with Active Directory. So without that, nothing is going to work. So once we choose that, it's the same. When you go ahead and do a username, you see in the fast forward video that actually create a first name, last name, this uh, display name is actually created for me. I choose the user logon, so I don't have to do it again. So maybe some other thing I wanted to do here is just do an address book, but right now I don't have that. But just for you to create a simple 
mailbox that user can actually log on to, yes. All you have to do is to save. So once you save, there you go. Alan is already up and running in your environment. How do we know? Let's go here. Let's go ahead and uh, go to incognito. Go do your mailbox right here. All right, and paste it. So now I'm going to have access to login. And for the very first time, it's going to ask us to actually create, um, I mean, just choose the time zone. So that's all about creating mailboxes and Island can actually go ahead. Now, let me show you something really quick that I mentioned in the beginning of this video. You see that the alias is actually the one showing here. And if you click on Alan's profile, you see that the alias is the one showing up here as an email. But if Alan is going to log in to your services, Alan is going to use Alan Smith. Just the way I actually log into this email, I log into this email with Alan.Smith. And actually, the alias is the one that is actually showing here just for you to have it clear a little bit. If you have any question, please let me know. Now, Alan is ready to send email to all the colleagues. Let's see if we can find somebody on the directory. Now, David Smith, Alan is ready to send an email. Everything is going on well. If you are doing this with me, I wanted to congratulate you that you are doing well. At least you create your first e uh, mailbox. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please put it down in the comment section. I'll be very glad to look into it and we can keep learning together. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye for now.